Thank you, daughter and son, for being faithful in your journey and walk with me. Thank you for not giving up even when you did not understand. Thank you for holding firmly in me and never wavering. Thank you for answering my call over your life and coming to me and knowing me. Thank you for seeking me with all your heart, even when you did not see or know the end. Thank you for abiding in me and seeking me in my word. Thank you for carrying your cross and following me. When situations got tougher in your journey, you embraced it without complaining and declared it may well be done and not your will. Thank you for leading your family and others in my ways. Thank you for feeding the hungry and orphaned, even when you had nothing and were in need yourself. Thank you for putting me and my kingdom first. Thank you for laying down your life and letting my will be done, a decision that cost you almost everything, yet remaining faithful. Thank you for your heart of gratitude even when nothing was coming your way. Thank you for choosing me and my ways over the world and your ways. Thank you for carrying my burden for a lost and dying world. And because of this, many have been rescued and have received my mercy. Thank you for denying yourself the pleasures of this world, for you have now gained me, my fullness in you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Your reputation meant nothing to you in defending my word and giving my warnings. You have paid a high price and surrendered all for me. Words cannot express in your understanding how grateful I am. You can only wait and see your rewards in heaven and a position that awaits you. You are now my bride. One that I look forward to wait on that day, as we consummate our love, that you will forever be by my side, and everything that is mine will be yours. Everything you have lost in this world, you have gained ten times more in me and in heaven. Nothing has been in vain nor a waste. Now the world needs you. All the lost, the confused, the ignorant, the foolish virgins must now come to the same knowledge of truth that you have never diligently to attain. You will teach them my truth that will set them free from their mental and spiritual bondage. You will shine my light in them and their blindness will fall off. They will finally see what was hidden from them. In my power and authority, you will proclaim my truth, heal the sick, and raise the dead. You will break strongholds and chains, and set the prisoners free from darkness. Nothing will be impossible for you. My spirit will come strongly upon you, and has been doing so in you, to fully anoint you for the time and work ahead. This work is almost complete and my sin of approval comes to you. As my judgments fall, my bride will arise with power and authority. I will raise a standard against the flood of the enemy. He is already defeated, and you are victorious. I delight in you, and far you have come, and you will soon be exalted for my glory. You will defeat and rise above your flesh limitations once and for all. Your full desire will only be for me and nothing else, especially your flesh. You will rise with many gifts that my spirit has been working in you, and they will come to full manifestation. Your training will not only be on your assignment, but also in these gifts and much more. You will learn how to work together in pairs and alone. You will be fully mine with a new name and position in my kingdom and you manifest the same in all its fullness. This name is part of me because we shall be one. What I know, you will know and do. Your glory days are ahead. 
not far off. Now the world goes dark as my judgments now fall. All have been warned, and those that remain in me will see calamities, but they will not come near them. In me they will have their being. As for the rest of the world, they will suffer for the gift of salvation. For my name they will offer their own lives. Many will perish, and many will take the mark of their doom to eternity. Others will finally know what time it is, and take refuge in the mountains. Their life will be one of fleeing and hiding from the authorities day and night. They will know no rest until I come for them. This is what must now be, for they have chosen their way over mine. In their strength and effort will they protect themselves and their loved ones. Their only hope is to come together with others of the same mind to get through each day. This is not my will and desire, for I desire they come to me now, while I am still calling, to repent of their ways and walk in my ways, a gift freely given, for I paid it all. The unbelief will cost them everything, and it pains me to see how the enemy has deceived them. He has set them up for mass and total destruction, and they are blindly being laid over the cliff. The only hope at this point is my mercy. Continue to pray for my mercy, to snatch many from the pits of hell. Rebellion is a great evil, that will lead many to their death. So now shall it be. As for you, focus on what lies ahead and the work cut out for you. Soon you will be called and trained for it. I rejoice in you and the souls you will bring to my kingdom. You are cherished and loved. Abide in me as I abide in you to bring you to the fullness of who I am and your call. Humility has been your greatest asset and has qualified you to carry my glory. Now watch as I exalt you beyond your wildest dreams or imagination, that will silence all who know you, who have seen you as nobody. For I use the foolish things to shame the wise, the weak to shame the strong, and the poor to shame the rich. I raise from nothing to everything, and many will be silenced. Gather up my children, soon you will arise in all my glory.